when you warm them up, you gotta make sure that they don't get overcooked, otherwise the, the chocolate will dry out inside there. See how nice the chocolate is? Still fluffy. The crust is a regular pizza crust. This is the same dough that we use to make a pizza. My name is Rocco Sacramone. I'm the chef owner of Trattoria Incontro restaurant. Welcome to Trattoria Incontro. <laughs> opened up in 1999. So we've been here 22 years. It's been a great ride for the last 21 years <laughs> because last year was a mess. 2020 was uh, was not a good year. I mean, in general, in any business was not a good year, but for the restaurant industry was a was a a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous year in a negative way. You keep on reinventing yourself to do things because you got to make orders to go. You, we started delivering, with, which we do not do, but. You know, to, to keep people employed and to to keep my staff, uh, that's what we did. With the help of also my staff here, which they did an amazing job. These guys are like, I'm, I'm so blessed to have these guys, people like this here that work for me. So we do seasonal dishes, a lot of the seasonal, right? A couple of weeks, last week, for example, we had the, it was carbonara day. So I made a couple of types of uh, carbonara. Uh, right now we have uh, rams, pasta with rams, the sign of the uh, spring. So I made a pesto of rams with shrimp and guanciale. Amazing. This is guanciale. This is ready. We're just waiting for the pasta to go. This is a little bit of guanciale. So we're going to use guanciale to do the ram. No, it's not going to be pesto. The ram. The ram pesto. So this is what the pesto looks like of the ram. Okay, nice and green. We slowly, I like to, ex to extract all the flavors of the guanciale, but you gotta be careful not, not to burn it. I love it. We're gonna cook some fresh pasta. Make you my father. Okay. Look at this. This is all on me. Okay. That made it. See how it's toasting slowly. We're gonna chop a couple of shrimp. I'm making this plate for you because this is a seasonal thing. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. As soon as the shrimp begin to cook, we're gonna add a little bit of the, with a little bit of the pesto. And a little, a little bit more water here. So, this, since this is not your typical pesto, because it's made out of ramp, so it has a little bit of a garlicky flavor to it. Not that I wanna overcook it, or I just wanna, I just wanna, warm it up a little bit. Ramp is a spring garlic, okay? This is what we do with the, uh, when ramps, when the ramp is here, spring is here, officially. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put just a little bit more, like that, and we're gonna, because the shrimps are not fully cooked yet, so I like to cook the pasta in the sauce. This is gonna take a few minutes, and at the same time, the pasta will release the starches. And as we say in Italian, it's gonna be almost like a pasta risottata, like a risotto type of pasta. This is very al dente now. Okay, see, the shrimps are not cooked yet, so everything will be cooking at the same time. All that water there will all be absorbed into the pasta. Okay, so this is the cacio pepe. We have, I just made up another plate, which is called acqua di pomodoro, which is tomato water and the pasta gets cooked right into that tomato water with crab meat, off the chart. It's been one of the best selling plates right now. 
Okay, here we go. Almost ready. So here we're going to put a little parmigiano. And the secret will be a little pecorino. Spettacolo. I wish the camera could smell this. Okay, you see how all the water got absorbed? And everything turned into a sauce now. See that? The shrimps are still nice and soft, as you can see, look. Okay. This is what the plate, all the flavors. So here you have the flavors of the, the pesto. You have the guanciale and, you have, and we have the shrimp. So as you can see the guanciale, we cut it a little bit thicker than the pancetta because it extracts and we release, it releases much, much more flavor. That, it's much more flavorful than pancetta. And the mafalda is like one of my favorite dyes because look, all these wrinkles, they all absorb the, they all absorb the sauces. See how the wrinkles is full of sauce? Yummy. So this is the cashew pepe. Now, there's a via. There's 50 million ways to make a cashew pepe. But here, this is how it's done. This way the, the pepper absorbs into the into the sauce that we're making. See that? And it changes a little bit of the color. So the cashew pepe we do here is a little bit different. Not different, I mean, we just start, I don't like to make things. I like the tradition, but I like to add or to take off from some place. Here what we do, we, we do a dry cured, dry cured egg yolk. We shave it over it. And the secret, and the secret of the pasta is, it's always to make sure the pasta against the wall. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> it's al dente. So, but we have we have the technique down that it takes about this is between three and four minutes because it's a homemade, it's a fresh pasta. All the pasta made in the house here. So the same thing we're here now. So now. This plate, there's a gentleman here that comes in, he goes in almost every day for this plate, so we make it to go for him. But we, all make, we, all make, we always make him uh, a double portion. So this is like a double order for him. So this pasta is also cooked very al dente. The sauce is gonna get absorbed into the pasta. This would be in approximately two minutes will be ready. Now, because it's to go, this is something that we have to reinvent also. Because it's to go, we're going to make this a little bit more saucy. This way, when it gets home, it doesn't get too dry. Thicken it because all the pasta is releasing all the starches. And that's how we thicken the sauces. See that? When it starts to see all the bubbles, that's all the release of the starches. So if this plate would have been for here, this would have stayed a little bit more in a pan. Reduce the sauce a little bit more. But because it's to go, we're going to add also two types of cheeses here. We'll do the parmigiano and the pecorino. So the, the secrets of cashew pepe is always you want to melt the cheeses. You see how we're getting the, are we getting the sauce? I'm not beating the pasta, I'm massaging the pasta. This is a massage. Now, if this will be for here, we will roll it just like that, plate it. This will be the plate, just like that. But because the gentleman is a good customer here, this guy, so. We give him a double order every day he comes in. Okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna do, so this is something a little, this is a dry cured egg yolk. This gets dry cured in salt and sugar. You gotta pick up the other, Mimi. So this is what makes this plate. So this here creates a little salty and a little sweetness of the egg. You see, this is a cured, a cured egg yolk. Okay, buon appetito. Bye, Well, thank you for everybody who's watching this video. We welcome anyone that wants to have a great dinner. This will be the plate right here. 
and the one that we just sent to go, it's in that bag. Give me that bag, Tony. This would be the order that it's just going out now. Okay. As you can see, we packed that up. We'll do it with. Uh, we'll put a little focaccia, some sun-dried tomato, upon request, and uh, ready to go. So I want to thank everyone. Thank you for doing this video, and uh, we really appreciate everything that went on this, uh, during this pandemic. We appreciate the, our customers, we appreciate our friends, we appreciate everybody that supported this cause here. Not only the cause, but who supported this, who supported us through this pandemic and this horrendous time. Thank you.